Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Friday. It's Friday the 13th. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a, uh, there's always negative connotations with Friday the 13th, but my first daughter was born on a Friday the 13th, so it always makes me think of that. So awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Oh, that's good. I, I'm, my new favorite is this taste of DFW. Oh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, all right. Well, let's get to the readings today. Uh, we're going to start off in, in Psalm 40, and then we have a reading in Genesis, and then we're going to Acts. So, Psalm 40, verses 1 through 11, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. I patiently waited for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon the rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud. To those who go astray after a lie, you have multiplied, O Lord my God. Your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I have come, in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance. In the great congregation, behold, I have not restrained my lips. As you know, O Lord, I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy, your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me. All right. Oh, excuse me. All right. The next reading, uh, the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 27, verses 30 through 38. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. He also prepared delicious food and brought it to his father. And he said to his father, Let my father arise and eat as his, of his son's game, that you may bless me. His father Isaac said to him, Who are you? And he answered, I am your son, your firstborn Esau. Then Isaac trembled very violently and said, Who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? And I ate it all before you came, and, and I have blessed him. Yes, and he shall be blessed. As soon as Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. But he said, Your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing. And Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has cheated me. These two times he took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac an answered and said to Esau, Behold, I have made him lord over you, and all his brothers I have given to him for servants, and with grain and wine I have sustained him. What then can I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Mm. All right. Next, we're going to the uh, New Testament, uh, Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. There we go. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles 
whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. O Lord, keep your family, the church, continually in, in the true faith, that relying on the hope of your heavenly grace, we may ever be defended by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, happy Friday and all that good stuff. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.